Today, we're going to learn about discussions in Canvas. So what are discussions? Canvas provides an integrated system for class discussions, allowing both instructors and students to start and contribute to as many discussion topics as desired. Discussions allow for interactive communication between two or more people. Users can participate in a conversation with an entire class or group. To create a discussion, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're in a course and you go to your home screen. On your home screen, you'll notice in the inner ribbon a discussions tab. Click that. Here are where all your discussions live. Any discussion that is most important, you can pin to the top. If you have never made a discussion before, then what you simply do is go to plus discussion or add a discussion. Canvas pretty much guides you from here. You want to go ahead and type in a topic. Here's where you want to type in directions to your student. So you want to tell them, dear students, today we're learning about blah, 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 blah. You can do this or do that. You can add links to URLs. So if I want my students to go to a particular site, I'm going to make sure that I have the URL already. So I'm going to go to Study Jams. When I get to Study Jams, I'm going to go ahead and find the subject, so I want them to find something on adding fractions. Okay, it goes adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. I am going to copy the URL by clicking the link and press copy. An easy way to do that is Control C. When I get back, I'm going to highlight the words this video on fractions, and I'm going to click the link. I'm now going to press Control V and paste the link in. And now I have the link for this video that's going to take my students directly to the site I want them to go to. I can also choose in discussions to have my students please go to Study Jams and watch the video. and on fractions. Then prepare to tell your classmates the rules for adding fractions with unlike denominators. I want to also make sure that I give my students some directions on what this discussion is going to be. So first I give them a task, they're going to watch a video. Then they're going to prepare to tell their classmates the rules for adding fractions with unlike denominators. Of course, in real life, I will always be sure to give my students some kind of parameters and a rubric for success. So I might say, you know, do, um, this is the standard. These are some other um, tools that you need. When I finish typing all my rules and all my directions on discussions, I'm going to go here, allowing threaded replies. That means that I want the students to be able to reply to one another and to be able to see the thread. I always want to make sure that my users post before they see replies. So I want them to make sure that they post first, then they can see all the threaded replies. If this is going to be graded, then I can go ahead and check graded. I never allow my students to like. It doesn't matter whether they like it or not. I want them to do the work. If I click grade it, it's going to ask me how am I going to grade this? Is it going to be points? Is it going to be percentage? Is it going to be complete or incomplete? You can choose whichever you like. I can say this is a group discussion. If this is a group discussion, then if I've made groups, I can select the group I want. And then I want to give it a date. It's available from when to when. So if it's available from today, then and then they have until tomorrow to complete it, I'm going to go ahead and put that. I can even get as linear as putting the time in. The most important thing is that if I create this and I want them to see it, I press save and publish. If I'm creating several at one time and I don't want them to see it just yet, I'm just going to press save. So once I press save and publish, 
Here is my discussion, and my students will have access to it by going to Discussions. And the most recent discussion, discussion will be at the top. Thank you. Now you know how to make discussions in Canvas.